Uh, Sam let me borrow his bulldozer to play in the sandbox with uh, the baby. And we're just playing out here. Would you like to read some books about some big stuff? You would? Let's go inside and read some books. Hello and welcome back to my, welcome inside. Welcome to story time. I, of course, am Miss Hannah. And if you remember from last week, our big word of the month is transportation, which is how people get around. This week, we are talking about some big rigs or my son likes to call them all the big trucks and things. They are Samuel's favorite thing in the world. So would you like to read some stories about some big, big trucks? You would? Well, I got our first story right here. Our first story is called Good Morning Digger and it's by Ann Rockwell. We read all about her last month. So let's read about Digger. Good morning, Digger. Big and strong and yellow. Early this morning, I heard you call. Grr, clink, grr, clink, grr, clink, clink. Flatbed brought you to the vacant lot. That's full of weeds and broken glass. Flatbed backed and grunted, back and grunted some more until you were safe on the ground. Now your big sharp teeth shh, are digging and lifting, digging and lifting some more. Grr clink, grr clink, grr clink, grr all day. Digging up dirt, digging up some more. Look, Mom, look at that hole Digger dug. Look at that big hole over there. Can you see it? Right there. Hello, jump truck. Rooly roll, rumble rattle, says jump truck to dig to Digger. Go on, Digger. Keep on digging. Dump truck will carry away in the dirt that you've dug. So dig and dig until dump truck is full. Goodbye, dump truck. Carry the weight, the amount of dirt that Digger dug. Then come back to get some more. Rolly roll, rumble and rattle, says dump truck rolling away. There he's going to go dump the dirt somewhere. Then one day, Digger is done, and his helpers build walls of wood around the hole Digger dug. Soon, Cement Mixer comes to help. Rumble, rumble, turn and turn. With gray cement pours into the hole that Digger dug. Can you see all the cement going in? Here's Flatbed again. again. This time, tall crane is riding high. Flatbed backs and grunts, and backs and grunts some more. Finally, tall crane is safe on the ground beside the hole that Digger dug. That cement turned into a floor. Tall sw crane swings doors and windows and other parts of walls into the air up and over and up and over and again. Digger helps. Digger's helpers in yellow hats stand on the grinders and grab whatever tall crane swings their ways. Digger's helpers keep busy climbing and clanging and banging, welding and hammering. Look at all the workers. Silver truck brings them a good lunch. Then they are back to work again, climbing and clanging, welding and hammering up oh, until until all the work is done. Then Flat ta Bed takes Digger away to go and work in some other place. Goodbye, Digger! I smile and wave. I'm a voice talking to Digger. Look what happened to the hole Digger dug. What do you think it's going to be? I have C O M M. What do you think it's going to be? Look at the rooms where I can dance and make music, paint pictures, or listen to stories. Look at the garden in the middle where we can plant flowers and grow corn on the cob. It says community center. That's what they made. Now everyone's painting a picture on the wall on a, of our brand new community center. I need yellow and yellow and lots more yellow for I am painting a very good morning. The very good morning the digger came, calling grr clink, grr clink, grr clink clink. To 
dig a hole where the in the vacant lot that was next door. Uh, and here's some of the uh, here's some of the trucks that came. The backhoe, that's the digger, the flatbed, the dump truck, the cement mixer, and the crane. Aren't those some fun big trucks? Would you like to sing a song about trucks? Or maybe a fire truck? Let's go sing a song. A fire truck is also a working vehicle, so let's sing a fire truck song. It's Hurry, Hurry, Drive the Fire Truck. You might know this one. Ready? Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Ding, 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 ding. Now we're going to climb the ladder. Climb the ladder with me. Ready? Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Ding, 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 ding. All right. Should we, we're just going to squirt the water, ready? Hurry, hurry, squirt the water. Hurry, hurry, squirt the water. Hurry, hurry, squirt the water. Ding, 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 ding. Save the kitty cat. Hurry, hurry, save the kitty cat. Hurry, hurry, save the kitty cat. Hurry, hurry, save the kitty cat. Meow. Ding, 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 ding. Got to drive the fire truck again. Ready? Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Ding, 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 ding. You are so good at that song. We should go back and read another story. Our next story is this one, The Three Little Rigs by David Gordon. It's a take on the three little pigs. I think you're going to like it a lot. Let's read it. There once was three little rigs who lived with their mama rig. She told them it was time for them to go out in the world and build their own garages. The first little rig went to the sawmill. He asked for the loader for enough wood to build a sturdy garage. Make sure to use lots of nails, the loader said. The first little rig used his crate used his crane to place wooden planks with the help of air compressor and a nail gun. He made four walls, a roof, and a door. But the big, bad, wrecking ball knocked on his door and said, Little rig, little rig, let me in. The, to which the little rig replied, Not by the chrome, off by Chitty Chin Chin. Then the, this made the wrecking ball so mad, he said, then I'll crash and I'll bash and I'll smash your house in. You just try, said the little rig. So the wrecking ball crashed and he bashed and he smashed the garage to pieces. Look at that. The second little rig went to the stone cutting factory. He, he and asked the conveyor for enough blocks to build a sturdy garage. Make sure to use plenty of... Uh, make sure to use plenty enough mortar, the conveyor said. There's the conveyor. The second little rig used his crane to place stone and stone of blocks. A cement mixer, right over here, helped him with the mortar. He made four walls, a roof, and a door. But the big, bad wrecking ball knocked on his door and said, Little Rig, Little Rig, let me in. To which the rig, Little Rig replied, Not by the chrome, not by Chinny Chin Chin. This made the wrecking ball mad. So he said, Then I'll crash and I'll bash and I'll smash your house in. You just try, said the Little Rig. So the wrecking ball crashed and he Bash, and he smashed the garage to pieces. It's all gone. Poor rig. The third little rig went to the steel mill and asked the pulley for enough beams to build a sturdy garage. Make good welds, said the pulley. The third little pig rig used his crane to place the steel beams. A welder helped him. But the big bad wrecking ball came to his, knocked on his door and said, little rig, little rig, let me come in. To which the little rig replied, not by the crumb of my chinny chin chin. 
This made the wrecking ball mad, so he said, Then I'll crash, and I'll bash, and I'll smash your house in. You just try, said the little rig. So the wrecking ball crashed, and he bashed, and he crashed, and he bashed, but he couldn't smash the garage to pieces. I'll be back, said the big, bad wrecking ball. Then the third little rig heard them honking, honking of his brothers outside. Honk, honk, honk. He was very, very glad to see them. Together they would come up with a plan. Later that night, the big, bad wrecking ball returned with three mean magnet, with a, with a mean magnet and a cruel, cruel cutter. Little rig, little rig, let us come in, they said. To which the little rigs were quiet, not by the chrome of our chinny chin chin. Look at those, all of those mean guys. Then we'll crash and we'll bash and we'll smash your house in. Wait, they shot the third little rig and his brothers snuck out the back door. Save us, they called to the cranes. Cranes are what hold the bad guys. The wrecking balls began to swing. The magnet began to pull. Then the cutter began to cut at the third little rig's garage. Suddenly, the crane lifted the dangerously, the dangerous three high in the air. Then the little rigs and the crane drove the steel mill together. Where are they going? There, the big bad wrecking ball the mean magnet and the cruel cutter were thrown into the melting pot. And the three little rigs lived happily ever after. The end, there they all are. And there are the friends who helped them build their houses and the cranes that saved them. It was a fun take on the three little pigs, wasn't it? There are so many ways to do a fun story like that. Would you like to play a game with me and my kids? We're going to play red light, green light. Would you like to come outside and play with us? Let's go. Let's play red light, green light. Come on, tell me. book we've got is Dumpy the Dump Truck, about a dump truck. And this is by Julie Anwer Andrews Edward and Emma Walton Hamilton. And for any adults watching, yes, that Julie Andrews. So let's read that book. Way out east, where the country meets the sea, there's a little village called Apple Harbor. Seagulls circling high above the fresh books clearly see the stony breakaway and sandy beach. The brightly painted cottages, the church steeples, schoolhouse, and a small whitewashed post office. Can you see the town? The pretty town. Behind the village, overlooking the bay, sits Mary Hill Farm. Most days, Farmer Barnes can be seen driving Trundle the tractor. There's Trundle. Up and down green and gold fields. Put, 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 put. Trundle turns 
over the fresh earth that plants potatoes, corn, and wheat. All in a day's work, he says. Nearby, B.B. the backhoe scoops and dumps and scoops and dumps, digging holes for planting trees and apples. Beep, 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 she says as she backs up to scoop once more. Two heads are better than one. crows the rooster on the old barn roof. He does this every morning. As the sun rose over the hill, something twinkled in the tall grass beside the barn. Among the bears and thistles, there was a cracked mirror, a flat tire, a twisted fender, and a sooty smokestack. What could it possibly be? It was an old dump truck. The little truck had been there for such a long time, he felt stiff and sore. Birds and mice had used, had used the stuffing from his faded leather seats to build nests, and he was dusty and very rusty. Bang! went the back door of the farmhouse. Charlie and his grandpa, Father Pop-Up, strode across the farmyard. But why? Charlie was saying. Why do we have to get rid of Dumpy? Because everything's changing around here, said Pop-Up. The old barn has got to come down to make room for a better one. The little truck is in the way. Besides, you heard your dad. He wants to buy a new one. But I love Dumpy, said Charlie. I play on him every day and pretend that I was uh, were driving all over town. They stood for a moment, gazing at Dumpy. It's sad to get rid of something you love, just to make room for something new, Charlie said. You were right about that, said Pop-Up. When I ran the farm, Dumpy did everything. When something broke, you fixed it. You didn't just throw it away. Well, why don't we fix Dumpy? Charlie asked. And then Dumpy can help Daddy with a new barn. Papa pushed back his hat and scratched his head. Hmm. I don't know, he said thoughtfully. Things are going to be pretty busy around here. And I'm not as quick as I used to be. I can help, said Charlie. We could do it together. We could do it in time, I know. I a slow smile spread over Pop-Up's face. You know, pal, this might be just the thing I'm looking for. Maybe we could even use Dumpy for old jobs around town. So Pop-Up and Charlie went to work. First they asked old Nellie the cart horse to pull Dumpy out of the weeds. Then Charlie and Pop-Up began to clean. They hosed and scrubbed and wiped and polished and scraped. They got rid of all old Dumpy's rust and mud and buffed his old headlights until they gleamed. There was so much work to do, they had to get up extra early before the farm chores began. Farmer barns often put, came by on Trundle. Put, 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 put. All in a day's work, Trundle would say. Looks like you've still got a long way to go, Farmer Barnes fretted. I hate to remind you, but we don't have much time before that barn has to come down. Pshaw, said Pop-Up. Just watch our dust. There he is. The days flew by, slowly but surely. Dumpy could feel himself coming back to life. Papa bought Dumpy four fat new tires with shiny hubcaps and buttery leather seats that smelled like cinnamon toast. Papa and Charlie spent hours on the dump truck's great bed. The arm raised up and down. The run that raised up and down was stuck. And Pop Up had to use so much grease that it was slippery from head he was slippery from head to toe. Next came the part that Dumpy liked best. Pop Up and Charlie gave him several new coats of paint and bright and cheerful colors. Apple red, sunshine yellow, ocean blue. But now Charlie was becoming a little anxious. Two more days. Pop up and Pop up and Dad so the barn has to come down. Pop-Up's head was buried in Dumpy's hood. I just gotta fix this engine. Clang, bang, ping, ding, powers. Dumpy had his stomach ache from all the poking. Sorry, Dumpy, said Pop-Up, but you can't run without an engine. We've got to keep at it. So they worked late into the night. The next morning, a sleepy Pop-Up said to Charlie, Okay, pal. Let's start them up. Carefully, he turned the shiny new key in the Dumpy's ignition. Bang, put, water. Coughed Dumpy. He heaved a big sigh. <gasps> Silence. Now, 
let's see, said Pop-Up as he went under the hood. A tweak here, some oil there. He climbed into the cabin, turned the tea key again. Arr, 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 Dumpy complained. Oh, please, Dumpy, please sh start, Charlie pleaded. Dumpy took a deep breath and tried as hard as he could. Pop! An old nest popped out of his smokestack. Look there, there's the nest. Dumpy Dake gave a satisfied burp. So that's what it was, Pop-Up smiled. Dumpy must be feeling better now. He turned the key one last time. Dumpy was feeling grand and roared with happiness. Broom! Broom! Yes! Charlie yelled. Yes! yelled Pop-Up. What is it? What's happening? Farmer Brundle. Farmer Brundle barreled around the corner on Trundle and slammed on the brakes. Trundle stalled and for once was speechless. There was Dumpy! Mint fresh and sparkling, his engine hummed happily. Well, what are we waiting for? Pop-Up winked at Farmer Barnes. Let's get to work on that old barn. So with Dumpy's help, the old barn came tumbling down. Dumpy hauled the timbers and helped stay the stack for later yeast. He fetched brick and wood and delivered a huge bags of cement and gravel. Every day he grew stronger, stronger. Word of Dumpy's return spread. All sorts of people came to see him for work. Stinky the garbage truck drove into the yard and was amazed to see Dumpy lifting and tipping load after load. Rrrr, he said happily. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. Beebe the backhoe dug a big hole for the barn's new foundation. Beep, 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 she said as she scooped and dumped. The earth into Dumpy, who carted it away. Two hands are better than one. Pop-Up tied a strong rope to Dun Dumpy's fender, and with the Trundle's help, they raised the sides of the new barn. All in eight days' work, Trundle said proudly. Building the new barn. See the new barn they're building? That, the day came when a last shingle was nailed in the roof. Farmer Barn stepped back to admire the new barn. Well, I take it back, he said, purring around an arm on Charlie's shoulder and smile at Pop-Up. You guys are a great team. Tomorrow we start the harvest. And after that, who knows? Dumpy could be the busiest truck in town. Ding-a-ling-a-ling! -ling! The ice cream truck drove to the farmyard. You're in for a treat, he called. Ice cream for everyone, declared Farmer Brown. See the ice cream truck? That night, Pop-Up and Charlie put Dumpy to bed inside the cozy new barn. It spelled a hay and herbs, fresh wool, and a hint of Dumpy's gasoline. Time for us to go to bed, too, said Pop-Up. Good job, Jump Dumpy, Charlie whispered, rubbing a fender gently with his sleeve. We couldn't have done it without you. The barn door swing clo swung closed. Dumpy heaved a happy, sleepy sigh. He knew he couldn't have done any of it without Charlie and Pop-Up. The end. Let's go do the big word of the month, and we'll be right back here for one more story. It's Samuel's favorite. Our big word of the month is transportation. Transportation is how people get around. And since we're driving this time, I think we should still drive our big rigs. Ready? So we're going to do it on, we're going to do it three times because that's how many times it takes to get into our brains. Ready? One, two, three. Transportation. How people get around. Drive your big truck. Here we go. Here we go again. Ready? One, two, three. Transportation. How people get around. Ready? How people get around. Honk, honk. One more time. Ready? One, two, three. Transportation. How people get around. Honk. Good job. Let's go read our last story. Here we are. We're at Samuel's favorite story. As I said, these are all handpicked by Samuel, but we've got to his favorite story. We've read it before. It's story time. Do you remember? It's Little Excavator by Anna Dwinney. Excuse me. Miss Anna can't speak today. Are you ready for Sam's favorite story of Little E? Here come the big rigs rolling down the street. Thumpa, thumpa, bumpa, bumpa, beep, beep, beep. 
Can you see little E ready on the spot? He's the little excavator working on the lot. Oops. Pages don't want to turn for me today. Here we go. Wham goes the dozer knocking down the wall. Rumble, rumble, crumble, crumble, fall, fall, fall. Little E is busy. He goes bam, bam, bam. Uh-oh, little excavator. Now you're in a jam. Rum goes the loader, lifting up the trash. Push a push a smush a smush a smash smash smash. Little E is lifting up some junk junk junk. Uh oh, little excavator. There goes little excavator over with a clunk. Room goes the dump truck with a load to lug. Thunk a thunk a clunk a clunk a chug chug chug. Little E wants to lug all day, day, day. Look out, little excavator, don't get in the way. Rump goes the backhoe, digging in the dirt. Clang, clang, bang, bang, work, work, work. I can tell these pages have been well worn by Samuel. I don't want to turn. Little E is helping too. He can dig, dig. Dig! Not yet, little excavator. Someday when you're big. Where goes the tall crane raising to the sky? Uh, whoosh, whoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Hi, hi, hi. Little E is stretching. He gets tall, tall, tall. Sorry, little excavator, you're too small. Now there's one last job, and the busy day is done. But no big rig can do it. Not a single one. Everybody tries it, but it's much too can't get past the bridge. Mm, can you think what's going to happen next? Can you predict it? But can it be? Literally fits just right. Good job, little excavator. Time to take a bow. There's work for you. There's work to do just for you here and now. You may be small, little excavator, but you will grow. You're a mighty little excavator. Go, go, go. There's a little E. That is Samuel's favorite story about some big rigs. I should go get our craft real quick. You wait right here. I'll be right back. Our fun craft for this week, let's see if I can find it. There it is, is to make your own truck. I did it with just a square and a rectangle. You can do it with just about any shapes. I added circles for wheels. So make your own truck however you like. We'll see you next time with a different type of transportation. We're going to do something that goes choo-choo. Can you figure it out? Oh, I think you can. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.